Hey what's up guys, how are you all? This is Ram and you are watching Infinity Explorer. Today I am going to show you how you can convert this negative into a digital format by using a simple mobile app. If you are a Photoshop user, I got you covered at the end of this video. You can always check the timestamps for the chapters you need. Without any delay, let's start the show. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is out. In olden days, people used these negatives to store the data of a camera. But we have plenty of storage options today. It's a good idea to turn old negatives into digital format by just using a phone. First, you will need a bright white screen on your mobile. Just open a white image with maximum brightness. Then, you need a negative of course and some objects just to maintain a gap between the negative and the screen. This is just to eliminate the pixels of the bright screen. Take another mobile and capture the negatives. If you have a macro lens on your phone, make use of it. Before I teach you how to do it, let me quickly show you how effective this method is. Did you see that? How easy it is? Just compare the results. Now let me tell you how you can do it too. First you need to download Snapseed app from Play Store. You can find the links in the description below. Open the app and click on plus icon and select your negative. We will crop the image first. Just follow my steps and watch the video till the end. After cropping, go to Curves. It will be a neutral on default, if not, select it a neutral and click on this icon. Select red channel and invert the lines as shown in the video. And do the same thing with the other two channels, green and blue. What we are doing is, inverting the RGB colors that is inverting negative into positive. Click on the tick mark if you are done with it. You can see the difference but still some details need to be revealed. Now select white balance. Move the cursor to random parts of the photo, especially target the grey parts. There are no rules for editing, stop the dropper when you are satisfied with the colors. It's looking good now. Now go to the brush tool and select exposure. We will highlight some underexposed areas. Paint over dark areas to make them brighter. Remember, the quality of the output photo depends upon the quality of the negative. This is a 30 year old negative taken in 1990 where my dad is standing next to an elephant in the zoo. Now you can see the difference between before exposure and after exposure. Let's add a frame to it. You can tune the image by changing brightness, contrast, shadows, etc. You need not to follow the same settings because every image is unique, so they will have different settings. If you are satisfied with your editing, you can save your photo by clicking this icon and click export. Your photo has been saved. If you want your photos to be edited professionally or you want any logo for your business, contact Discal Studio Works through Instagram. Links are provided in the description. Thank you for 500 subs. I hope you guys make it to 1k soon. If you like this video, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Let's edit one more photo. This is me when I was 11 months old. We will follow the same step as the previous image. Go to Curves, invert your image. Then white balance, then adjustments. You can edit this better in Photoshop. If you spend a bit more time on it, it looks like this. There is a lot of difference between 1 minute and 1 hour of editing. This is a fun thing to do. Ask your parents or neighbors for a negative and convert it into digital format and show them your work. They will feel very happy and recollect all those memories, photographs and memories. Photoshoppers, now it's your turn. Open Photoshop 
and import your photo. First thing we will do is crop the unwanted area. I am using a rectangular marquee tool to do that. Then create a duplicate layer. It is always a good practice to create a duplicate layer and work on it without affecting the original layer. This is a negative. To make it positive, we have to invert it. Go to adjustment layer and select invert. Boom! Your picture is almost ready. We will make some more adjustments to it. Then go to curves and click on the middle dropper and click on the image. We are balancing the colors here. So try different areas, especially target gray areas to get good result. This is the basic funda you need to take care of. You can now experiment with different tools available in the Photoshop to make it look great. Brightness, contrast, vibrance, whatever you want. Just make sure your photo looks damn good after you edit it. Let's add a frame to it. You can remove unwanted blemishes or spots on the photo by using spot healing tool. Just click on the spots, they will vanish. If you spend a little more time, you can edit it like a pro. It's just a matter of practice and time you are going to spend on it. It will directly reflect on your image quality. I made some more edits like color balance, saturation, vibrance and a lot more to edit this. I hope you guys like this video. Click the like button if you like this video and feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments down below. That's it for today. Meet you next week with a cool video. This is Ram signing off. Have a good day.